you follow the directions so that you can create the reality you desire. So what you were told was write it down and read it at least in the morning and again before bedtime and also write it down on a piece of paper, put it in your pocket so every time your hand reaches in your pocket, you're reminded of it. And that's all you need for success, right? Not quite. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. Thank you for joining me here today for Let's Get Metaphysical show, where we show you how to discover the invisible forces driving your life in each moment, not just now and then, but every moment of your life. It's the invisible forces out of your awareness causing you to make the choices you do. Let's continue. There are many factors that will allow you to actually create the reality you want. Here's one that you may not have thought of. To have something you've never had, first you have to become someone who has thoughts creating actions that you've never done before. So you have to start out by becoming this other person to be taking on behaviors, patterns you've never done before. That's one part. Here's another part you probably haven't been doing. You have to be sure you're open to receiving. Everything in the world, in the universe, is energy. Just energy. So you give and you receive? Well, do you though? Many of us are big givers, but don't even think about, hey, I need to be open to receiving this, to receiving the outcome that happens when my request becomes my reality. So ask yourself, am I open when my life changes because I'm creating this certain outcome? Am I going to let it in? Many years ago, I had a friend who was very, very sick. And I was talking with his wife and I said, let's send him some energy. I am a minister. I've been sending energy for decades. And she said, okay. So she said, okay. I said, okay. So I sent the energy, but he wouldn't take it in. It was completely deflected by a boundary protecting him from any incoming energy. So you have to become somebody who really desires that outcome. You have to be open and desiring to receive that everything that's going to come to you so that you can reach the outcome. Now, here's some more. When they tell you, well, state it in the morning when you first wake up so that your conscious mind has not clicked in yet. In other words, you're talking to your subconscious mind and information can go in there because your subconscious mind takes everything in. It can't decide what to say no or to say yes to, it just takes it all in. And for that reason, they also tell you just before you go to sleep, again, state your desired outcome. Always in the positive, always in the present. It's the outcome, the end point that you're visualizing, but you're not just visualizing it, you're feeling it with your whole body, it's your reality. And then you go to sleep with that still in your mind. What I do, what I taught, well, I taught my daughter, she was an actress when she was very little. And I told her, put your script under your pillow. Does her mind read the words of the script coming up through her pillow? I don't know, probably not, however, her mind has the energy focused on that script that's under her pillow. 
And it's what you're focusing on with your heart that's allowing you to create your desired outcome. Now, here's a piece that I stumbled over for a long, long time because I was doing the early in the morning and later in the day. I mean, I was spending a long time. I was visualizing everything. Actually, I was virtualizing everything so I could see, hear, taste, touch, everything in the environment as my outcome, my desired outcome became my reality. But you know what I didn't do? What hadn't occurred to me? The whole rest of the day, my mind was here and there and everywhere. So no, I wasn't really focused only on what I desired. How about you? How much time of your day are you focusing on your desired outcome? And here's something that should be questioned to begin with. Is it your desired outcome? Or is it something that your parents want for you? Or your spouse wants for you? Or your boss wants for you? Or is it yours in your heart, a reality that causes you to feel good, to smile whenever you picture yourself living in the world of that? outcome. It becomes your reality. Write it down. Write it three times. Speak it aloud three times. Write it on your goal card. I remember Bob Proctor saying he put it on three different goal cards stating simply what he desired and he put them in three different pockets. Your body definitely reads those cards. Absolutely. I highly recommend that you do that piece. Now, I want to remind you, if you're struggling to create a reality, struggle is a choice. It's always optional. Struggling, suffering. What if I could show you, not what if, I know I can show you something as simple as, see this? Looks like a Band-Aid. There are no chemicals in it, light therapy. And I peel it off, I place it, and then I stick it on. So it's a peel, place, press. That's simple. And I tell you exactly how to make it happen. Put your healing on autopilot. You don't have to think of anything except peel, place, press. Just contact me. I'll show you exactly how to do it. So now you know a formula, and it really is a formula. When you think of it that way, you go step by step by step. It's a process. And when you do the process, it works. And overall, what kind of thoughts are you thinking? Always think the thoughts that are enforcing your energy, creating the world you want. So I've been blessed lately when I speak something negative. I've been with a friend who stops me, says I, I don't go there. And they stop me and I'm recognizing how often I'll put a negative in, or even when I'm talking about something positive, because I've been changing my paradigm that was it was all my life. It's something I'm changing because I used to look for what was wrong and what was missing. Consciously, I don't look for what was wrong or what was missing, but changing a paradigm, well, your paradigm fights you on it. And so a little piece will slip out. That's definitely a negative thought that I didn't catch, but the universe blessed me by having that happen when I was with a friend who immediately caught it and stopped it before I could finish the sentence. And that is how I can have the conscious awareness so that I can continue to focus only on the thoughts and expressing the thoughts and thinking only the thoughts 
that are empowering to me. My goal is to cause smiles to blossom because everybody, it's your birthright. You were born happy and love, knowing love and joy, it's your birthright. And I'm here to show you how to live in that reality. Thank you so much for joining me here again. I am Reverend Allie Beerman. This is Let's Get Metaphysical Show. Remember to take advantage of the gift from Audible. Get the audio book of your choice. And the one I'm recommending now is inspired by Linda Proctor, Bob Proctor's wife. And it's full of stories. He was a very, very very special individual, changed millions of lives because he loved people. And he was all about showing people how to love themselves so that they made their world work to make their paradigms something that fit for them to live in that world. And after he left this dimension, she gathered stories from the whole family her, her kids, her grandchildren, the cousins, the uncles, everybody had stories to contribute. So you could see how this man lived. He would not allow anybody to crush a bug in his house. It would really upset him. Hey, I've been that way most of my life. I, have, I call it a bug catcher. It's a big cup and I have a stiff piece of paper, so I put the cup over the bug, I slide the paper under, I carry it to the door and put it outside. He used to tell people, catch the bug, even if it was a little one, and put it outside. Every creature has, I believe, feelings. Every creature has a place in this world, including you. Remember to enjoy every moment that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y. Because nothing in your life happens outside of you. It all happens within, within where your awareness lies. Check the show notes so you can see how to listen to or watch any of our programs. You have the link for getting your free trial and your free audiobook at audible.com and how to contact me. In fact, I'll have a gift for you when you sign up so that I can show you how to peel, place, press. I look forward to being here with you next time.